Hey, what's going on guys? Matt back here with another tutorial and today we're going to be looking at adding settings. So we're adding video settings and audio settings. So all I've got on, in this scene is a camera because that's the object that I've got my settings script attached to and I've just got my settings script here. So if I open that up, what I've got in here is 95 lines and just going through it, we've got a bunch of variables. These ones are all to set up which parts of the menu are showing at one time. Obviously I've got this execute in edit mode at the top which lets me be able to see it here. It just helps you with kind of placing at the start if you kind of manually placing stuff obviously. Ideally you want to be doing everything by screen width and screen height anyway. So in here all we've got is a menu variable and options, sound and video variables and they're all booleans. And then we've got a sound effects volume, music volume and then a field of view and those ones I've set manually obviously you can set them however you want and just moving on down we've got inside our function on GUI a little if statement inside that and that's our menu part so that's the bit we see here so we've just got three buttons a start game options and quit and if I just go through them so start game will play the game so what that'll do is obviously you'd turn off you'd make menu false in there and then you'd start the game whether you change scene or whatever you wanted to do moving on We've got the option button, which is just a button. It's got screen width minus, uh, divided by 2 minus 50 because its width is 100, so we just take half, half of that off to get it so it's perfectly centered. And then moving on to the height, I chose 2 plus 30 just because that's a nice location on the screen that I wanted it to be. So moving on from that, we've got if we press that button, which has options in the text, that then puts menu um, to false and options to true. So I'll, I'll explain that in a second. So and then after that, we've got our quit button, which literally just application dot quit. So moving on down, we've got in, if once our options are true, that's outside of the menu uh, statement because obviously we, we make menu false in here to then make options true. So inside there we've got three more buttons, one of them is the back button which effectively does the same as the quit button but it just goes back, it turns menu back to true and options to false so it just swaps back over. And then we've also got our audio settings and video settings buttons which do effectively the same thing but turns options to false then either sound or video to true so there are variables at the top. After we've fiddled around in there if we then pressed the audio settings button inside the sound uh, if statement we've got a sound effects volume slider so this is a GUI dot horizontal slider just make sure you've got the capitals correct there and then that is a rectangle which is screen width divided by 2 minus 50 so that's the same so it's centered and then we've got our screen height divided by 2 just so it's near the middle and then that's 100 wide and 30 high and then that would start off at being our sound effects volume which we set at the top and I've got that set at 6 as well as the music volume actually as well and then that goes from 0, I don't really need point zero because I've got them as integers so they are only whole numbers and then uh, that goes from 0 to 10 so 10 being the maximum and then the music volume is exactly the same except we've got it at screen height 2 plus 30 so then it's directly below our other one and then both of them have labels which are rectangles and they are in the same location but uh, 110 across. I don't really need minus 50 plus 110. I could just do it as plus 60. But anyway, we've got our screen height divided by 2 minus 5 because then that puts it in the center of the slider. And then we've got inside that it's got a tag of sound effects or SFX with a colon and a space and then it also adds our number of SFX volume to the end. Um, I'll show you how, how this all looks at the end and then the music one's exactly the same obviously the height is plus 25 as opposed to minus 5 because we want it to be 30 lower and then minus the 5 off again. So and then we've also got our back button like before which is exactly the same except it turns our sound to false and options to true and then video so once you press the video button we have a variable of qualities which is which uses the quality settings that are built into unity that starts a vertical set of buttons so our full variable like an if but for an array effectively so it's for quality settings dot names so that's for every name of the quality settings um, so our four is a variable of i is starts off at zero and then uh, if i is less than the length of qualities and then it does uh, one more adds to the i to get that right 
and then inside there we've got our GUI button which is screen width divided by 2 minus 50 to get that centered again because you've got it as a width of 100 and then our screen height divided by 2 minus 120 because obviously there's six buttons or whatever it is and I wanted to keep all of the back buttons in the same place so that's a bit higher up and then that displays qualities with square brackets and an I inside that. Once you, if you press any of those buttons, it does the quality settings, uh, set quality level, and then whatever I is to true, depending on which button you press, obviously that's gonna change different settings. And then it ends our vertical set of buttons. And then um, underneath that, we've got a field of view, which is our variable, our last variable at the top. That goes field of view equals, it's another horizontal slider. Um, that's exactly the same, I've got all of my things are setting, set in manually. And then that goes field of view, so that's tell, it starts off at what the field of view is, which I've got set to 80, I think, as a standard. And then it goes from 30 to 120, because I don't want it too high, and I don't want it lower than 30, to really. Our GUI label of field of view, so that's exactly the same as the uh, volume sliders, but obviously just showing the field of view. And then we've got a back button as well. So if I just double check that I've saved that, and then if I hit play, I'll, I'll maximize it. If I press options, I go into these this this choice of video and audio. If I go audio, I can slide them around and go back. And I can go back to here, options, video. And I can choose any of them, and then uh, change the field of view as well. And back to go back again. So that obviously just changes the variables that we've got inside our scripts. I'm going to do another tutorial which shows you how to then implement those uh, variables in say an audio, um, wh whatever sound you're playing or also changing the field of view of the camera. That will be another script that we'll add in in the next tutorial. So I hope that's been useful and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.